Hi and welcome to another episode of Dad's RC Hangar. Uh, my name's Chris and we're going to bring you something today um, to do with propellers. Um, the reason why you'll see a movie um, in a minute, um, but today we're going to uh, we're going to uh, balance a propeller. Alrighty, welcome back. Um, right, uh, so what we're doing, this is a, a propeller um, and we need it balanced. Uh, why do you need it balanced? Because it's a bit like if you drive, if you don't drive, ask someone and want it to that does drive. Um, if it's unbalanced, it will wobble and do that at so many RPM, you'll end up, one, the, the propeller will always make a different noise. Um, if you don't understand what that means and you do fly, fly with an unbalanced propeller, balance it, which we're about to do, and then fly again and you'll hear a different noise. It's pretty weird. I think because it oscillates when it's like flying, but very, very quickly, but obviously not that big. If it's that big, then you've got a real problem. So, uh, but it's enough. Now, this is a little balancing tool. Um, this is cheap as chips. It works by connecting one end and the other end is a magnet. Uh, I don't know if you can see that. So, uh, yeah, as you see, look, there's magnet. And basically when it goes there, it's 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 true. It holds a true. Cheap as chips. So what we're going to do. So well, I know this is not balanced. This is why I thought I'd make a movie. And um, you're saying this is for the, uh, it's the J3 Hobby King, this propeller. This propeller is from Master Air Screw. They are fantastic. I'll leave a little uh, link to their website. You can buy them all over the world in different shops. But they are a brilliant, brilliant um, propeller. Um, this is a 12 by 6 which is the same as the uh, propeller for the uh, J3 Hobby King. Um, uh, why do I need a new propeller? Well, just have a look at this of my, <laughs> my little video footage of my run cam. Um, when we was uh, trying to trim it out from the last time's fix. Have a look at this now. Okay, now you know why I need a new propeller. Oh yeah, the other propeller I glued and it's just stuck on the hanger somewhere. Right, now, so what do we use? Well, I've got this set. This is also cheap as chips. It's about 20 quid, 20 English pounds, which whatever it is in US and Australian or American or that is US, idiot. Anywhere, French, Germany, wherever you're watching from, um, which I appreciate actually, everyone joining my channel and watching me make a fool of myself thank you very much I really appreciate that guys and girls anyway this is this is for a Dremel what is a Dremel this is a Dremel basically that is spinning around they probably do my nails actually I should do my nails it make them look better and we're gonna take and the back back part of it we're gonna take very fine very fine off that off the back whatever needs now so what we do, we get this and we unscrew it. Now I am going to promise myself a little HDMI monitor because it's really hard to see in my little camera because if I move it, it turns upside down. Anyway, put that in there as you can see. Hopefully you can see what I'm doing. 
tighten that back up. Now this is basically the screw should be kind of center so you might need to unscrew these little cups screw that cup lots of screwing going on in my life it must be my new X10 um, right uh, so it's basically tight <laughs> it's <laughs> yeah screwed in tight make it feel good there we go it's there right and then we can stick it in our magnets between our magnets now hopefully if I push that out of the way I'm going to let go right see that's gone to one side now I can spin it around <laughs> yeah, that way, I think. Or well, I just spun it around. There you go. Stick it down. So we know this side is heavy. So when that's going around, that would cause a small vibration and it could break your motor in the end, bend your prop shaft, the plane won't fly properly, it'll put a lot of vibration through the plane. Um, it's a bit like if you're a Formula One driver and you put a, you skid a lot, it becomes uh, what uh, Martin Brundle normally says a 50 pence piece, driving on a 50 pence piece and that's probably what it is so if I look on here I mean I could probably there's a probably like a little where they've made the actual propeller maybe I could maybe just on the back half of that so okay let's now I've just broken that these are really <laughs> really gentle <laughs> alrighty okay it's not a problem we have a screwdriver and why do we want a screwdriver we don't want that well we want a flat head a flat head <laughs> Ah, here we go. Right, a flat head screwdriver. I did this earlier, and uh, I can't see actually. I actually need to go to optician. I think my eyes are getting worse. Right, here we go. So we unscrew that, and you need something really soft. I mean, I've run out of soft sandpaper. I've gone really technical and gone with the Dremel, and it's a pile of pants. Well, it's not a pile of pants. I just need to learn it, use it a bit better. Maybe instead of using that, maybe we use, I'll tell you what we use, we use a stone. We get a stone, man. Let's get stoned, he says. As in the stone in the Dremel. What would you think I was thinking? Bad people, bad, bad people. Right, okay. Here we go. So, in fact, I need that to hold that. So, stick it in the end, missus. And in here, it's got a little hole. <laughs> I'm going to start rating this. A little hole, so it tightens up. It just stops it from spinning, right? So you can tighten it up. Okay. So what side was it again that we need to... So just hold it gentle and let it go. And it's this side, right? So what we'll do then is... See if I can just... I think I do prefer my soft sandpaper because that sounds like we're going to a dentist. So right, do just a little bits at a time. So that obviously needs a big bit. Now what we could do, we could... Is that probably really the wrong tool? So I do have a bit of this sandpaper. So what did you think of my epic crash? It wasn't a really an epic crash. Um, as you know, I kind of rebuilt the J3 because the undercarriage, we don't know because I've never shown you a video of it, but I basically Frankenstein the undercarriage. I had an undercarriage from a Watt 4 and I basically put it on the J3. I haven't got a picture, I don't think, but maybe in another couple of videos. This is all part of random IC, RC, RC, IC? random RC videos. So anything random that I do, I'll just chuck into that little kind of folder of videos. But I'll show you that anyway. So um, yeah, so we were trimming it out and it was a rather windy day and we tried to land and it just, we, yeah, you'll see, as you saw in the video. Right, let's let that go again. That is still quite heavy. So, I mean, obviously just, just keep, I mean, oh, yeah, so it needed a bit of the, it's not that coarsest sandpaper actually, so, but I'll do it on the back side anyway, because it's, it's a lot better on the back side. There's probably maybe some masters out there that are saying, oh my God, there's an easier way of doing that, Chris. But, you know, if it is, then tell me, because this is, this is, uh, this is, uh, I don't know, this is all I do. I don't think that stone's the right thing. 
Dremel, Dremel noob. I actually used my my spray, my little airbrush spray thing the other day as well. That's the first time using Tamira paint. Is it Tamira? Tamira. That was pretty cool, man. It's quite nice actually. It's quite therapeutic, sort of spraying. You know, not, there's normally airbrushing is like you know for for many things, I guess. But, you know, I normally associate with models, smaller models. But I use that to actually spray the undercarriage from silver to a close greens and blues of the J3. Once again, didn't video that either. Wow, that's really heavy, that one. I had another one of these, another prop for, uh, what did I do it on there? I think it was the original propeller of the J3, uh, Hobby King J3 Navy Cub. Which by I saw on Hobby King that it's got even cheaper. It's like seriously cheap. It's like hundred pounds, whatever that is in dollars and bucks, or was it hundred bucks? But it's a fun thing to mess about with and it's good for FPV. Wow, that's a heavy propeller. That is a heavy propeller. Whee! Magnets are fun. As you can see. So I'm going to keep doing this. And uh, I'll be right back. And back again. Right, so I, I, I've been sandpapering a little bit more. I was a bit worried actually. I was going to start changing the pitch. But it wasn't that much. But uh, yeah, so you just keep... I mean, it doesn't look pretty. Um, but it is behind. That's what you see. We well, don't even see it when it's spinning around. But it's going to save your motor and you know so let's let's try this anyway so basically we'll let go again let it uh, settle down it's a bit wobbly actually let just just stop it from wobbling and it looks like I went a bit too much <sighs> so it can't be that much but then again if I just take this side off at least it's the same color in fact there's just a couple of join marks on here that I you know it can only this is this is because it's magnetic on one end and it kind of is it's in midair see what I'm talking about um, we're talking we're talking super microns because now it's gone back down this side so I reckon if I literally just You see what I mean? This is how I mean that's I mean if I get that straight <laughs> check missing about. If I get that straight let go. Does it bounce back again? I mean to me that's not bad. I mean look at that, it's gone back to near enough centre. And that, ladies and gentlemen. I reckon if I just because there's a little bit of a burr on there, I reckon that was that was the the tipping. I mean, you go at this all day, you really can. You know, it's it's on there still. It's, oh, there it is. There you go. So we can use the Dremel, but a bit of sandpaper does the trick. But it just doesn't. It's actually still wobbling on the back card. You can't really. It's me where I let it go. Because it's literally on the pin this side, and this side is just the magnet. The forces of the magnet is holding it in the place. You know, I'm really happy with that. I mean, that is a balanced prop. I mean, we could probably go like, you know. By the time I get it down to the field and knock it. I mean, it comes back up. So when that comes back up, you know it's, it's kind of a balanced It's going to be seesawing all day long, but yeah. So then, uh, you know, you take it off, and you can, you know, wipe it with something to, you know, make it uh, a bit more glamorous on the back because it does look a bit. And you can see that it's not so shiny, shiny. 
but that is a balanced prop and that I mean you know the master air screw sounds awesome in the air I don't know how they do their pitch or something I mean it's obviously the same pitch but they do something to their propellers I don't know what I don't know it's the, the, what it's made of because it's a bit tougher but hopefully it's going to be a lot tougher than the <laughs> than the stock propeller that came with the Hobby King J3 hub yeah groovy okay uh let's wrap this up so the prop balancing now you can i don't know i suppose you could do that with wood props and um, there's probably a more gentle way of doing it than a bit of a uh, bit of um sandpaper but i did have a you could use sort of like wet wet sandpaper you know wet the one you actually wet is very fine to smooth that off i could probably use that afterwards um but it's basically just to let you know that it's balancing prop is a good thing to do so it just leaves me to say thanks ever so much for everyone um, joining this channel. Um, I think I'm up to 36 subscribers or something. It's not much in the big world of things, but I appreciate you pressing that button and saying subscribe. Once again, thanks to Peter for my Motion RC t-shirt um, and uh, a lanyard and of course the cap. Um, and basically I hope everyone has uh, uh, a good time. Enjoy yourself. Keep flying and be safe. See you later next time.